Yo, happy Monday everyone! Recently we have all been preparing for Craftopia to drop its seamless map update, but one thing on many people's minds, including mine, what will the transfer look like? What happens to my character? Will we lose everything? Well, Pocket Pair took to socials this morning to clarify exactly what to expect. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like and subscribe, join the Kaz Gang Discord, all the links are down below, but let's do this. Over the last few weeks, Pocket Pair has dropped a new seamless trailer, along with plenty of information we week after week. Well, this week is no different, with Pocket Pair giving us a breakdown of everything about the data transfer to Seamless World update. Pocket Pair posted, Thank you for playing Craftopia. This is the announcement about the data transfer from the current version of Craftopia to the Seamless World update version. The update will still take some time before its release, but we've decided to release information regarding data transfer since many players have asked. In the Seamless World update, there will be many changes, such as the map, various items, perimeters, and the way how and how often you'll obtain them. But we felt terrible about wiping off all the items you have collected in the current version of Craftopia, so we have worked hard to make it so you could transfer items to the Seamless World update. However, there are some limitations. Here is the content you can transfer to the updated version. Precautions on data transfer. The gameplay with the transferred characters and items differ from what we've intended regarding the game balance. Strong weapons, convenient mobility, and high profitable items may break the new game balance, especially in the early game. Combat is not the only thing you can enjoy in the updated version of Craftopia, but we've designed and optimized items and game balances for you all to enjoy. With that being said, we strongly recommend creating a new character to play from the beginning of the Seamless world. Seamless is designed to be played as a fresh experience, so to get the most out of it, we recommend you play it anew. So basically Pocket Pair is just saying that our weapons, mobility and high tier items, even though very well may be transferable over, that isn't what suits Seamless. Us being maxed out in every aspect of the game isn't what's going to suit Seamless's progression. Let's say for example a jetpack. Providing the jetpack remains in the game, it is going to allow us to maneuver the map extremely easy and will take away from the adventure that the big map brings alone. And that's not to mention weapons and gear. If I take my max mage into seamless even if they have nerfed him into the ground he is still going to demolish boss number one transferable content equipment items equipped by your character such as weapons armor accessories and gliders items stored in your character's inventory such as equipment buildings consumables and materials pets stored in the inventory you cannot transfer pets stored in the pet management machines all the enchantments attached to the items above some items Items will be removed due to design changes and some items unfortunately will lose their deployable abilities and such. We are preparing this data transfer to allow you to use the transferred items including their enchantments just like they are in the current version of Craftopia. The update will not affect their perimeters. Due to the addition of pet skills in the updated version, pet levels will be reset. Okay so basically everything can be transferred over if stored within your character's inventory. It does mention that certain items will be removed or lose their abilities, and that with the addition of new pet skills, pet levels will be reset. Which is very sad as I've not long finished maxing them all. But either way, that's great news for anyone who's not wanting to start again. But remember, a fresh start is advised. I personally plan on taking my main over, but I'm still gonna start fresh. But me and this little guy are brothers now. Other content. The entire world of Craftopia has been fundamentally redesigned in this update. Therefore, deployed buildings cannot be transferred to the updated version. If you store them in your inventory before applying the update, you can transfer them. The update will reset some data, such as in-game money, skills, and the progression of missions. So due to the massive map change and basically everything being redesigned, despite stacking your character's inventory, any buildings you currently have placed down in a non-seamless world will remain there and will not transfer over. Good job I didn't build a mega mansion, right? But in all seriousness, this was completely expected. As what are they going to do, just drag our builds over and make them fit into a completely different world? But one part of this I really love, the update will reset some data such as in-game money, skills, and the progression of missions. Now I won't go into this too much because I have another video on the way that goes into more detail, but yes, reset the money, fix the economy. 
put this little dude out of business. I'm kidding, he's a good dude, but he's too generous and we're too rich. Playing the current version of Craftopia after the update. We are preparing to allow you to play the current version of Craftopia using the Steam's beta function. With the Steam betas, you can play the current version of Craftopia after the update just like you are now, and the update will affect nothing. However, the save data system is different between the current version and the seamless one. You can use Steam betas to carefully select which items to transfer after the update's release. This is for the players who want to play the current version of Craftopia after the update and for the players who will realize I didn't prepare for the data transfer or my items are slightly changed due to the update so I want to transfer other items instead. You cannot play the current version of Craftopia with the character created in the Seamless World update version of Craftopia. If you transfer your data after you play the updated version, your save data will be overwritten and you will need to start over again. So please proceed this operation very carefully. Now this I found very interesting. So right now we are able to switch from the Craftopia we all play to the Craftopia alpha version which is used for testing before it hits the public branch. Well going forward Seamless will be the main Craftopia but with the option to switch back to current Craftopia using the beta system. Very interesting. Now I do really like this and I'm so glad we have the option to switch back. Especially for me who will continue to help everybody regardless of what version they're playing so it's good i can just hop back and do that or refresh my memory whatever i need but it does raise the question of how on earth are they going to do this for console does xbox have a similar system where you're able to switch between different versions of one game i'm genuinely asking because i haven't played xbox in years but i've never heard of that so perhaps console is stuck to seamless perhaps it's a dlc i've no idea but let me know what you guys think they also say here that once you create a character in the seamless world you cannot take it back to a non-seamless world and use the same character which is absolutely for the best. Everyone here at the development team for Craftopia has been working hard on this to preserve as much data as we can to save all the memories players have made in the current version of Craftopia. However, please understand that we may have to change what you can transfer to the updated version due to technical difficulties or other unavoidable issues. The Seamless World update is coming this month, so please look forward to it. We appreciate your understanding. Thank you for your continued support, Craftopia development team. So yes, with this being an early act, Access game and undergoing such a huge change, nothing is really set in stone. These transferable things could very well be changed, but it is awesome to know a rough idea. And of course, it's great to see how we are going to switch to seamless and what will happen to our old worlds. Now, as I mentioned, I'm a little bit confused on how this is all going to happen for Xbox. So let's hope we get another transfer announcement when the time's a bit closer for our Xbox friends. Now, I am personally very happy about all of this transfer news. I think this is the perfect outcome. I will be personally taking my main over but i will be starting fresh as well i'm sad i'll lose my kaz factory but serves me right for building so damn big in an early access now of course any more information that pocket pair drops i will be the first to let you know but i really hope you enjoyed this video please do drop a like and subscribe join the kaz gang discord all the links are down below i have so much craftopia content coming from this point forward the build up to seamless has been so much work behind the scenes and now is the time seamless may be basically craftopia 2 but it also means kaz gang 2 Peace!